Hey guys, and welcome back to Shuffle. So we left it off at a pretty dark place. Um, so let's just jump right back in. Its birth was wanted by no one. It's Sia's dark side. It's the daughter of the devils who's living inside of the daughter of the gods, Lysianthus. An existence unwanted as the heiress of the king of the gods. I remember what she said before. Nobody wanted me. I wasn't allowed to exist. She wasn't allowed to be born. How did she feel when she found out about that? As I'm lost for words, Sia continues with a smile. Then, she fell in love with someone. She fell in love with the guy I fell in love with, Rin Tsuchimi. I hear my name, but I don't feel anything. What was I able to do? What did I do? When we first met, she was sitting on the fence and smiling. The girl walked around the campus with such innocent eyes. The girl who leaned on me with a smile on the park bench with a panty shot for us. Many faces come to my mind and disappear. <laughs> oh, hello, babe. <laughs> so, this is it. Sia claimed suddenly. As if it's the word to end everything. She's standing by the window, and her back seems to be shaking. It's her turn to be loved. I've had enough. I've had many dreams, and many of my wishes came true. I'm going to switch with her. I don't know when I can come out again. Her shaky voice doesn't sound like she's telling the truth, but she speaks with eyes full of tears. The strong determination is there for sure. What are you talking about? What do you mean you don't know? Because I'm the only one. I can't sacrifice her anymore. I've had enough. I've received enough love. I've had more than enough fun. Also, I've loved enough. Her voice shakes. Her eyes are full of tear or full of fear. Sia's Yeah. Sia turns around and puts her feelings in her words. They're not her true feelings. But she puts her feelings into them. Or into her words, yeah. Please, forget about me. Her long hair dances with the night breeze. The silver moon shines on her sad smile. Don't be stupid. Do you think I'm going to tell you that I'll forget about you just because you asked me to? How could I forget? I'll never forget. As a punishment to your selfish decision, I'll never, ever forget about you. That's not nice. If you don't like it, then you'd better think again. Sia shakes her head silently. I won't die or disappear. I'll be sleeping inside of her, that's all. I won't be able to see you, but we can meet in our dreams. I can dream in her dream. She's in my dream, and I'm in her dream. No matter where we go. We can have dreams! I can see a little bit of her true feelings in her smile. There's a teardrop at the edge of her eye. She loves you too. So please take care of her. She still smiles. See ya! As that was the weakest scream ever. <laughs> her body starts to glow and white light fills my sight. Wait! As I'm in the white world, I yell and understand that Sia can't hear me. Sia isn't here anymore. All of a sudden, so selfishly, Sia acted on her own decision. As the light disappears, I see a girl standing in front of me. I see a girl who's staring at the floor. Brown hair in the breeze, little long ears which are different from human ears. That is not Sia. Stupid! She mutters sadly and lonely. Who asked for this? She decides selfishly. She switches selfishly. Nobody else wanted. Nobody else's feelings were considered. A very selfish decision. Maybe it wasn't wrong, but it wasn't right either. In the silent room, the moonlight shines on her. What kind of stupid ending is this? Ah, uh, what, what fourth wall? I'm in the morning classroom as usual. 
I see Sia. I mean, somebody who used to be Sia. Rin, you got a minute? Itsuki and Mayumi come toward me and take me out to the hallway. About Sia, huh? So, something happened. What happened? She doesn't look like Sia-chan anymore. What do you think is different? Everything. She didn't even answer when I spoke to her. She's not cheerful anymore and she feels hard to get near. I can't believe that is Sia-chan. Everyone thinks that way. What did you do to her, Reen? If you're having a fight, just apologize to her. I can't believe it was your fault anyway. It isn't a fight. I walk back into the classroom, leaving them there. Hey. She reacts for the first time. Reen. I've never seen her face look that depressed before. You look very depressed this morning. She doesn't react to me even though I made it sound cheerful. Her eyes have dark, dim light. Who do you think I am? You're the dark side, reverse Sia or fake Sia. There's only one Sia I know. By the same token, there's only one reverse Sia. I, I can't be Sia. Her voice sounds very sad as if she's crying. You don't have to be, you're you. What I said is true, but I know it's difficult for her to accept. Nobody else knows about Reverse Sia, and everybody wants her to be Sia. And Reverse Sia knows that. Reverse Sia tries to smile at me. Her smile looks so sad. And then it's the next day. <laughs> this is this is almost as bad as Dandelion. <laughs> you seem unchanged. <laughs> In the empty classroom. Reverse Sia is looking outside the window. I don't have to change, she replies without turning to me. Everybody thinks I'm Sia and talks to me as Sia. Then they turn around because I'm not or I'm not the Sia they expect. Everybody wants the Sia that I'm not. So, what's the point of turning myself into what I'm not? Don't you want to have friends? Not at all. I can tell she's not telling the truth from her weak voice. One is asleep when another is awake. The sleeping one sees the outside world as if dreaming. I guess Thea realized that even though everybody was at her reach, she couldn't get to them. They never paid attention to her. She was all by herself just like I was. That's why she felt sorry for me. She's stupid. This isn't what I wanted. Her voice is shaking. The reason she's turning her back to me is probably because she's crying. Even with Sia's sympathy and sacrifice, <clears throat> she couldn't get what she wanted. She probably doesn't want me to see her face like that. Well, I'm getting bored looking out the window. I'm going home. Reverse Sia stands up quickly. Even though nobody welcomes me at home. She grabs her bag and walks towards the door, trying not to turn her face to me. Then she stops at the door. You prefer Sia too, right? With a sad smile, she turns her face to me at last. Alone in the classroom, I recall their words while looking at the sunset. My baby sister has never had anybody's attention and affection. She's never gotten any of those, and has been living by herself. She's stupid! This isn't what I wanted! What she wants, huh? I don't know what I should do to change. I don't know what I can do. But I think there must be something. There must be something I need to do. And then it's the next day. <laughs> this is seriously just as bad as fucking Dandelion. <laughs> I hear my footsteps echoing in the dark street. The cool night air feels good on my confused head. I've just been thinking about what I should do for the past few days. I'm only a human. I'm not doing well in magic class either, so there's only so much I can do. I look up while putting on a sad smile. I can't think of any good answer when I'm stuck in my room. I inhale the outside air fully, and I can feel the cool air flowing inside of me. What? I stop when I see a girl pass in front of me. The girl is wobbling as if she's being drawn somewhere. 
Reverse Zia. She's going straight to school. I have a bad feeling. I shouldn't leave her alone at this hour. I follow her. I climb up the closed gate and enter the school. Nobody is in the building. All the lights are off. Only the stars shine from above. I see the figure of a girl looming in the silver light. She's looking up at the sky with a sad smile. See ya! She doesn't answer. She just keeps looking up at the silver moon in the sky. As if she's seeing somebody there. As if she's seeing Sia. Sia. I see her shoulders slightly shiver this time. No! Her voice echoes faintly in the night air. I'm not Sia! I can't be her! Hey, tell me. What do I have to love people for? They don't give me anything. They don't look at me or even recognize my existence. How can I love those people? What should I love them for? She reveals the emotions she's been keeping inside. I can see her pain. She wants to love and be loved. She wants a clear reason to love somebody, but nobody gave her one. At least, she wants others to recognize her existence. She wants others to remember the existence of the girl who calls herself Reversia. But nobody even tries to remember. No one, or nobody, can choose their environment when they're born. Nobody chooses to be born. Even so, she wants others to know her at least. Nobody wants or needs her. It's like everything is denied. Except for one thing, the other half of her. It was only Sia who understood me and accepted me. But she can't see me. Because I'm one with her. I'm not Lysianthus! Her body emits a bright light. Immense magical power gathers around reverse Sia's body. I'm not Sia! I can't be her! This body, this power, and this life? None of it is mine! Everything is hers! Everything belongs to her! This isn't mine! If only there was one thing! Just one! I wanted to have something. Something that belongs to me. Something that recognizes me. But there isn't anything. Everybody only sees Sia. Everybody gives only to Sia. I didn't do anything. I was just born. But everybody rejects me. And tries to forget me. I don't want this world. Nobody sees me in this world. I can't become Sia. I'm not Sia. What Reverse Sia wants is very simple and small. She just wants to be herself and be recognized. It was simple, but it never came true. Even at this moment, nobody recognizes her. I'm the only one who can. As, or that's what I can do, and what I should do. I smile to her and walk toward her. She glares at me with striking eyes, but it doesn't scare me. I feel pity for her. I've been wondering if there's something I can give you. I've been thinking hard, and I found one thing. I'll give it to you. The thing that belongs only to you. It's something only you can have. I step forward. I break into her magical barrier and stare into her eyes. Well, what are you? I see her face right in front of mine. Even though I haven't been able to solve any problems, I did come up with an idea. I can give her something, even though I'm powerless. There's only one thing that I can give. I put my lips onto hers with no hesitation. She widens her eyes in surprise. Her feisty eyes reflect my face and freeze. She blows my body away in rejection. Are you trying to say you're giving your heart to me? I know you love Sia. Nonsense. You don't belong to me. I'm not giving you my heart. She's still glaring at me with eminent anger. I must be easy for her to kill, or it must be easy for her to kill me with the power of the devil. And she wouldn't hesitate to do that now. I know Reverse Sia wouldn't be happy for getting my heart that already belongs to Sia. I must give her something that only I can give. I can't help smiling. Maybe I'm scorning at myself for what I'm about to do. Don't make fun of me! She strikes me with the boiling magical power. I can't breathe. For, the, or for a moment, but I keep staring at her while trying not to fall. I feel my strength draining from my body. I taste my blood in my mouth and I feel dizzy. 
tremendous pain goes through my whole body. I feel like I'm fainting. Yeah, fainting. If I can say it with confidence. <laughs> but I'm still okay. I've been used to the pain since I was small. That's one of my few strengths. I can't fall down yet. I have something to give her. Something I want to give her. I already gave everything I had to Sia. I no longer have something Sia wanted me to give to Reverse Sia. Reverse Sia clearly doesn't want pity. So I smile to her as brightly as I can. I just smile. Ki... Kyo. Huh? That's your name. I know it's not that cool, but it sounds like Sia's sister's name. You don't want to be called Reverse Sia anymore, right? Kikyo. Kikyo? Is that my name? I've never even thought of my name. Kikyo. Kikyo! She mutters in a hoarse voice in surprise. I can see the light surrounding her dwindle. The next moment, I reach my limit. My vision darkens and I can't stand anymore. I can no longer hear any sound. My body falls to the ground. The last moment, I feel like I hear something like a scream. And then we get to the epilogue. Hello. I walk to school while yawning as usual. <laughs> Kaede left 30 minutes early because she's assigned to some duties. I feel quiet. Wait, I feel. Qu eh, it feels quiet to commute by myself. Rancoon, good morning! The quietness was broken in five minutes. When I turn around, I see a girl from the world of gods with a smiling face. Hey, Sia! Aren't you together with Kai chan today? She left early because she had some stuff to do. Uh huh. Sia looks suspicious for some reason. This is a chance, right? The next moment. Rancoon, I love you! She pounces on me. Sia, wait! Think of where we are now. I want your. She stares at me with tearful eyes, and then she closes them slowly. Rancoon? Her petite pink lips are slightly shaking and getting closer to my face. I heard we kissed when we were small, but unfortunately I don't remember that. Her lips look very tempting right in front of me though, but I... You must be Kikyo! I collect all my rationale and push her away. Ahaha, you noticed! Unfortunately, Sia isn't that bold. Too bad, I wanted to offer my lips to you. Hey. Kikyo runs away giggling like a child. Then I hear the voice of another girl from her body. Hey, Kikyo, Rincoon is mine! But isn't it wonderful if we can share the same husband? Well, that doesn't sound too bad, actually. If <laughs> you guys talk well. Different speeches are made out of this are made out of one mouth. I put on a smile. Sia came back to recognize her little sister Kikyo. To live together without sacrificing each other. The relationship between Sia and Kikyo has changed a bit. Sometimes one is awake like before, and sometimes both are awake like right now. That's the way they chose. One side isn't enough. They both have to exist so that they can smile. They're always together, always one. She runs to school cheerfully. I feel like there's another girl running with her with a smile. Two sisters dwell in one body. I feel like they're... <clears throat> amiably running uh, uh, side by side. Rin, hurry or you'll be late. Rin, can let's go together. Well, I think it'll take some time to get used to this. And that is all for Sia's route. And the next time that I start up Shuffle, it will be Darren's route. So look forward to that. And then we have Primula's route right after that. So. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!